Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a fun video where we review some people's Browns fan DIY projects where they paint things around their home to celebrate the Cleveland Browns. So the first one is a deck, and this was this is one that actually started off this whole thing because I found this on Facebook in one of the Browns fan groups, and I reached out to this guy and I was like, I love this. It's so simple but great. And can I post it on Twitter? He's like, yeah, post it wherever you want. So this first deck is from Paul Romelu. And it's pretty simple, but people absolutely loved it, right? So that was the one that kind of got this whole party going. I say in this, I love the symmetry of it. I think he got the colors correct, which is, which is critical. You can't just go with any orange or any brown or any white. They have to be certain shades. White, probably the easiest one. But he got the shades right. The symmetry is right. I love everything about it. It's just perfect. Even the even the steps are brown, which is really nice. Personally, I would have gone color rush on a lot of these, by the way. But this is the classic Cleveland Browns helmet stripe. So I'm going to give this a solid 9 out of 10. Solid 9. All right, next. Very similar. It's a very similar deck. That we've got going on. I don't love the contrast between the color of the home and the deck. And also, there's there's not really any any uh, any fencing around the deck, so it could be a possible safety hazard. We're gonna knock off a point for that. But the the symmetry isn't exact because it's just it's a little bit off, and and the colors are the colors are off too. So it's like brown on the outside, then orange, then white, versus the way that it should be orange brown white but i mean we still see what's going on there so this was by on twitter at dawson ward 42 so it's a good try but because the colors weren't the correct way that i would go about doing that this is just me personally i would say this is more like a jersey sleeve i would I, I would i would assume versus a helmet but still i would have gone orange brown white so i'm gonna give this one like a six out of ten it looks to be a little weathered too. Might need a little touch up on that, but a solid six out of 10 nonetheless. So that was from Dawson Ward 42 on Twitter. Next up, we have from Twitter at GB Dog, D A W G 55, who has this one. Now, this is, I like this. This is very similar to the first one from Paul Romelu. And it's classic. And I do, I, I like how he's got the furniture around the stripe as well so you're not violating the stripe anybody with ocd out there going don't touch the stripe or don't don't go across the lines this is going to fit in really nicely i also i like the thinner stripe uh the the thinner brown stripes and the white stripe and i think i think the colors are great doesn't look weathered it looks like a really nice classy deck and I want to, I'm going to give this one again, a nine out of 10. This is really, really nice. As you can tell, I like these. The only way I'd probably go 10 out of 10 if somebody went color rush, but I haven't seen one of those yet. So next, the next deck on the list, this is from at skrillsdatkill21. And skrillsdat has a very nice deck. And don't get me wrong in this deck. It's nice. The railing is, is also painted. You got to see it there in the bottom. Colors are good. It, uh, Everything is fine about it, but what really brings this out is at night. So he sent me two pictures of this. This is the day picture, which looks fine. It's just pretty okay, right? But then at night when they turn the lights on, that's when it looks pretty dope, right? I like that. Zoom in here. You can see this. I like how the light shines off of it. It's really pops at night. So again, on this one, I'm going to go, I'm going to go... I'm going to go 8 out of 10 on this one. And the only reason why is there, I, I probably would have gotten, I haven't, I didn't count all the different, the the different wooden, you know, the, the rows there, but I probably would have gotten one extra white in there. So it's not 333. Three. It would have been the 343 three, just to give it a little bit wider white. Not that big a deal though. I still like it. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to stick with 8 right now, but I might go to 9. We'll see. Next. The entire home. This is the it, somebody's entire home. So you can tell this is not an HOA neighborhood. So this is not something from Florida. That's for darn sure. For many, many reasons. 
But number one, you could never get away with painting your house brown and orange in most traditional Florida neighborhoods. Now, there are some that are kind of popping up that are a little bit more open with getting wild with colors, more like the Key West style, like modern Key Westy. But this particular one, um, I love it. I'm sure it. If there's not brown, if this does, if this isn't in Northeast Ohio, you're probably going to upset quite a few people. And you know, the other thing too is, if it's in, it could actually. This almost looks bangly, right? So I would say what I would have done here is I, on this on this triangle part of the home here, I would have done like a white stripe in the middle, or I would have done like the brown's helmet right there, right? So or or maybe done it just across this white line. Because there's just not enough white. And and that's why it gave me a Bengals feeling to it. Because the Bengals are just brown and orange. Versus like having that, that white in there somewhere. Now, you could also argue this could be somewhat color rush. But because there's a little white in there, it's not really color rush either. So, um, And then the brick down there. So I'm going to give this one just for the effort. I'm giving it A for an effort here. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because if you're going to paint your house completely brown and orange with a little bit of white, you you got to at least get a passing grade. So 7 out of 10 there. And that one comes from at Karen Kassler on Twitter, at Karen Kassler. Next, the fence guy. So this is another beautiful one. And I I, I truly hope that this is somebody who lives in either the the the, the Baltimore or Maryland area. Cincinnati area, like South Ohio or Western Pennsylvania, because that would just add the cherry on top. Can you imagine if you lived in the neighborhood and in like Western PA and you had to live next to this, how upsetting it would be? It'd be like if we had to go, if a Browns fan had a Steeler fan in the neighborhood and everything was like, you know, yellow and black, you know, on their crap, it would be, it would be very annoying. So this one, A for the effort again. And I'm going to say, let's give this one a, let's give it a solid eight out of 10. I like the nice thick lines. It's very uniform. So it's not trying to be like the helmet. It's trying to, it's the helmet, but it's not trying to be, get cute with it. Orange, brown, white, perfect. You got the color combination correct. So you get the eight out of 10. Next, we got the fireplace and I can't really zoom out. Let me see if I can add, give you guys a little bit more view of this one pull this over let's pull it pretend it's not breaking that so you got the the browns bud light uh fridge which is awesome obviously this is a notre dame fan so any of you ohio state guys like go easy on them for this weekend but a lot of browns cups there uh you got some browns and there might be in, down the bottom left hand corner like some other some other little brownie stuff that's just pretty cool stuff on the shelves the fireplace right there now the only rub i have on this is the fireplace is black which again gives me more of like a bangly type feel to this versus the browns but then you got the you have a really nice classy uh classy arrangement of the colors the the helmet colors on the top so i say this one's another really good one but because there's a little there's a little jarbliness to it i'm gonna give it a six no i'm gonna i'll give it a seven because of the bud light fridge i do like the bud light fridge i kind of wish i would have got one i might eventually pick one up on ebay or something or if somebody out there has one that they want to sell let me know I'm, I'm kind of interested at this point just for the history of it so seven out of ten because of the fridge and and all the kind of different browns collectibles that you have all over the place there i'd like to talk to this guy this, this one was actually given to us by at whoop hell 440 on twitter whoop hell next we got the kids room so this one, this one is, yes, it's technically got some brown stuff here, right? So if I scroll this one out a little bit further, it's kind of some general sports stuff there on the left. You got some toys. You got a Baker Mayfield picture on the right, and you do have an orange background with, that, with what I'm assuming is a brown wall. So this would be very, like an inverted color rush. I, I'm not, I can't tell if it's the, if it's the, the, just the quality of the image or the lighting, but so on, I can't tell if the the colors are correct there. So I, I'm not I'm not gonna ding you for it, but it looks it looks like a weird, almost like a tomatoey orange versus like a true orange. But again, it could be could be just the the camera and the light. But then on the top, 
you, you know, we got a, we had a, we have a little mist paint on the top there. So I'm going to ding you. And I'm not sure what's going on here with this broken, you know, uh, the, I guess it's like a, sh it's not a shutter. It's like a, uh, um, like a, like a broken curtain rod, I guess you could call that. This is like a broken curtain rod. So just aesthetically sort of brownsy, but not super great execution. Okay. So I'm going to give this one, I'm going to give this one like a four. I like the effort. Don't like the execution, but there's still room for improvement there. Okay. I still could, I, I see the vision. And then, and that one was from at Bobo four, five, eight, six, one, zero, nine, zero on Twitter. That seems like a very, almost like a, almost like a, like a bot account, but probably a real person. Let's say, but that's like a funny, like group of numbers. I don't know if I just got his phone number or whatnot, but all right. Last one. We've got the Browns garage. This is actually a video that this gentleman sent me. And we've got all the different brown stuff. So I love the, I love all the, like the, the collectible type stuff. I love how that stripe looks. There's a lot of clutter, but it is a garage and it has to be functional. It's not just, it's not just, you know, just the colors on the wall. It's not like a man cave and I'll do a review of man caves maybe down the road, but there's, there's a lot going on here. But then you get to kind of the cleaner wall there with then you get the Indians side of it. So this is an eclectic Cleveland sports fan here because then you get when you get into the Cleveland, the 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 Indians and the and the Guardian stuff, that's what it kind of you lose me a little bit. And that's that. So that's it, guys. So I will tell you, I think if I had to pick my favorite one. I want to say this is probably it from Paul. The first one that we got, Paul Romolo, Romolu on Facebook sent me this or uh, gave me permission to post it. This is my favorite. It just looks super clean. I like that he went, you know, with the orange on the outside, which I, I got to ask Paul if he like actually got it from Sherman Williams because Sherman Williams, you can actually buy the N a specific NFL color palette in your paint and they'll give it to you, which is awesome. You can just look it up online. They'll give it to you exactly. So orange, brown, two brown stripes, three white. So it gives that little bit extra width on the white, brown, orange. I love it. I love the railing. I love the steps. Everything about this, the, 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 the brown fence in the background is there too. So it gives a nice contrast, almost like, almost like a Jersey. That's kind of starting off. You got the helmet and the Jersey. So everything about this one, Paul, you win. Um, and so 10 at, I know I gave him a nine. I'm going to give him the 10 because why not? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any Browns related things in your home like a room or a man cave or something that's browns oriented that you spend a lot of time in that you love send it to me just send it to me at browniepostgame at gmail.com or at mike Killy on twitter so send it to me say hey mike this is what i got this is what i did and you know i'll feature it on the show so thank you guys very much please subscribe as well let me know in the comments which one of these decks was your favorite all right, so I'm, I definitely want to know if everyone agrees with me or if my sentiment is way off. So leave me a comment below with your favorite, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Go Browns.